Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous, and I am back today with another episode of r slash choosing beggars. British Airways agreed the compensation was an incorrect amount and adjusted it accordingly. Furious couple who were thrown off British Airways flight from Greece for being drunk complain that their 300 pound compensation is not enough, so the airline reduces it to zero pounds. And uh, that's why, um, what is that saying? You don't look a gift horse in the mouth. When people are nice to you when you're a jerk, don't push it. Don't push it. Don't push it. Today, I discovered a choosing beggar at work. This morning at my job, I was talking with my friends about video games until the lead came in and started assigning us our tables. After a little motivational speech, he warned us that there will be a snowstorm tonight and to be careful driving into work the next day. All of a sudden, a woman starts complaining and the lead tries to defuse the situation. CB is choosing beggar, L is lead, M is me. But my car can't drive in snow! Take the bus then. <laughs> I ain't trying to ride a bus. I need a ride here. You! She points at me. Huh? Can't you drive me tomorrow? Where do you live? That place that's like 45 minutes away from the factory? <laughs> I'm sorry dude, that's pretty far and besides, my car can just barely drive on snow. Maybe ask your sister? The women who are close friends at work call each other sisters. She's too far from my house! So am I, but you asked me. What's wrong with riding the bus? I don't want to! I ain't trying to look poor or pay for a ride! We work in a warehouse, nobody here is Bruce Wayne, just middle class or lower middle class. Look, CB, I'm sure the snow won't be that bad. My car can't drive in snow! My lead pulled her aside and sent his assistant to give us orders. Choosing Beggar was shouting at the lead for a few more minutes until she walked away in bitter defeat. She gave me a dirty glare the whole day. Now, honestly, there are legitimate reasons why you might not want to ride a bus, none none of which she personally <laughs> produced. And also, you know, I would think that maybe the buses aren't running if there's a snowstorm. Maybe they are, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I've, I've never ridden a public transport bus, I just know that usually it's not a pleasant situation, so I can understand that. But for her to say, like, <laughs> it's about appearances, that's, that's dumb. And she wants you to go out of your way with no compensation. But she's not about to ask one of her friends, like, okay. It finally happened. I got one. It gets better the longer you read. The front desk knows I love this subreddit. So, they gave me the phone for this one. Hello, I need this professional service done, and I heard it costs around $1,500. That sounds like a similar price to what we charge. Can I tell you a little more about us? No, I'm a social media influencer, so I would like you to do it for free. Sure, we often collaborate with influencers. Great, I would like this to be done today. Even if she was paying cash, that wasn't going to happen an hour before close. What agency are you with? What do you mean? We need to get your performance metrics on your followers to make sure you'll reach enough customer base. How many people is that? We want to make sure at least 100,000 potential customers will be reached for us to collaborate. I have 1,200 followers. I'm sorry, but that doesn't meet our minimum threshold. Well, I am still getting professional service done, right? Of course, we would need payment in full of $1,500 to start today. Oh, uh, you could just bill me. We would have to have you apply for financing. My credit is terrible. I won't get approved. Not a problem. We accept cash and check with two forms of ID. That isn't gonna work for me. My license is expired. Sounds like your best option is cash. I don't have the money to pay for that. I don't have a job. I thought you were an influencer. Don't you get paid for your influence? Beautiful. <laughs> and, 
And see, that is the difference between an actual legitimate collaboration where someone's saying like, hey, um, maybe not like the best way of going about trying to get a deal, but still, there, there's they obviously collaborate with influencers. But that's a choosing beggar situation. <laughs> there's not really any value that this so-called influencer is going to be able to provide. And that was... House call nail lady agrees to a package deal if I pay up front, cries when I tip her $50, and says she feels unappreciated, and walks out. Obligatory long post alert, and sorry for typos, as I'm quickly typing this before work. Been going to my nail lady for years, who used to work in a fancy salon, and now works part-time and does house calls. I get tips with gel polish, which is typically around $60 to $80 at nail salons, depending on how fancy it is. Keeping in mind, the workers aren't even making the full amount as they have to give some to the salon. She needs work as she works at a salon only part-time now and is down for a house call, so I make it very clear I can't pay a lot like at the fancy salon she was at, so she and I agree if I pay up front for two nail jobs, she'll charge me a friend fee for $60 for them. So I get my nails done by her a few weeks ago, and at the end I Venmo her $140. Upfront, 60 plus 60 for the two nail jobs and a $20 tip, which is a generous tip. This morning, she comes to do the second nail job and I'm listening to all her relationship problems, made her coffee, gave her snacks, lit a candle, etc. And in the middle of it, she was complaining about how little money she's making now compared to before and how she has to pay for a lot for her daughter, etc. And I got in my feels and was like, you know what, I'll pay you something extra for today. And she was like, no, you don't have to. And I was like, it's okay, I want to. So she finishes and I give her $50 cash in tip, making the nail job a total of $110 instead of $60. And she doesn't say thank you, starts packing up and saying how she's gonna quit doing nails cause not you, but I've been giving friends and stuff discounts and not you, but it's making me feel unappreciated and I don't think I'm gonna keep doing nails. I'm not making good money and don't feel like my work is appreciated and I put so much love and care into each nail. I like wanna cry right now. I'm not getting paid full price. Starts tearing up. Then shook AF, I say, let's call her Sally. I'm like, Sally, I just gave you $50. That makes my tip and gel polish nail job 110 instead of 60. How much are you trying to charge people if it's full price? Like 150? She scrambles to find a response, but doesn't. And I'm like, I never pay over $80 for this at salon, so I feel like I'm being very reasonable and not taking advantage of you. Her response is that she knows, but she just has a lot to pay for, for her daughter, and has all these expenses, and she ubered to me, all like under her breath, and she said, Okay, thanks, and walked out. It would be a good time to point out she has an Equinox membership and a slight coke addiction. Anyway, I'm just like, WTF just happened! I wasn't meant to pay anything at all today, besides a typical 5 to $10 tip. I give her $50 tip, and she's reacting this way? I cannot with the logic of some people. Or lack thereof. Nails cute AF though. TLDR, nail lady needs money and agreed to do my nails for an upfront discount friend fee of $60 for two nail jobs. First time I pay $140 upfront for both and $20 tip. This time I tip $50 so paid $110 because I got in my feels about her being broke and she says she feels like she's being taken advantage of and wants to quit doing nails and walks out. Now I know that that was kind of... <laughs> It was kind of hard, harder to follow because of the formatting, but it does feel like that genuine when someone's just so upset that they just start spieling about the whole situation. She wrote it very much like she was telling a friend, like, it was very interesting. Um, but <laughs> I love, like, the random, like, would like to mention she has this, like, coke addiction. What? Um, I don't know what an Equinox subscription or whatever is, but, um, do you mean, like not coca-cola because it's just gonna casually mention that i have a funny feeling though that she she was indeed being a choosing beggar like oh you got fifty dollars like can't you give me a hundred you know what i mean like i feel like that's kind of what was happening but it's just weird to me that instead of being like oh thank you 
for 50 freaking dollars and instead was gonna try to basically make you feel bad for more i think is what she was trying to do i don't know what do you guys think i want to know what you think that person's play was because i think she was trying to guilt her into more but i'm not sure the pup cups are free boo and i cannot stress this enough who why did the size of the pup chino change it used to come in a small paper cup. Now it comes in a small shot size plastic cup. We have a big dog, two, maybe three licks, and he is done. Wondering where the rest is? I am positive it does not cost that much to put some whipped cream in a cup. Just saying. Yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything for them to put the whipped cream in the in the cup because 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 they're giving it to you for, f for free okay this dude is always begging for stuff and and literally there's a there's a <laughs> there's a compilation of <laughs> what six posts of this person someone buy me spider-man on ps4 like as an early birthday present or something i love you five ever <laughs> Anyone wants to buy my services as a chef, I'm open to the idea. Hit me up and we can discuss price, etc. Someone buy me and Draco Domino's pizza. Someone buy me this, please. Someone buy me Domino's. I'm too lazy to make food right now, LMAO. Someone buy me Domino's and I'll call you daddy for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, um interesting kind of situation here because Domino's I believe yeah Domino's is, is appearing three times in this particular uh, person's <laughs> begging but they also want to be a chef <laughs> I feel like them you know their services as a chef like maybe that's not quite choosing beggar because they're willing to actually work for it um but I don't know how reliable they would be considering they always want someone to bring them dominoes because they're too lazy to cook in the first place. And this last one is a conversation between a guy and his ex-girlfriend. Give me $300 please for a winter coat. If you can't, I will understand. <laughs> <laughs> Any case, thank you. From where would I get that money? I just asked. <laughs> if I would have just half of that, I would buy new glasses before I get blind. Can you please send me $500 for fixing the roof? I would like to do that before the winter is coming. If you can't, I will understand. <laughs> I will never give any money to any man it would kill man inside of him even when i will have a money if a man asks for money from woman he devalues himself as a man by this he shows that he is insolvent as a man and does not cope with his direct duties you are funny <laughs> for you it is funny maybe but for me it is not funny at all <laughs> i always loved your humor it is just very sad if you think it is funny. At least I know that I, I am not worth even $300. May I send you a warm coat instead? There's a nice secondhand store in blank and I also need a winter coat because I only have summer clothing. I'll buy one for you too and send it by parcel post. It is kind from you, but don't need. I am glad you don't. I need it very much because it is getting really cold here. I need it, but not from you. Just don't worry, please. But you have just asked it from me, and I have offered a warm coat to you. What is wrong? I think I worth more than coat from secondhand store. Maybe? You just said me my price for you. You need a warm coat. I have offered one for you, and you have offended because it is not expensive enough, right? No, I offended because 1. If you would have $300, you would spend it for yourself. 2. You think I can wear the coat from second hand? You just humiliated me. Nothing new. Of course I would spend it on myself first. <gasps> Honestly? I didn't wait any answer from you. I 
had last hoped that you will say something like, I would send it to you with pleasure if I have it, at least. No, if I would have that, I would fix the collapsed roof above my head. Male labor is money. You want to receive hormones, support, care, and love from the woman. The man does not pay for it. The man invests. A woman can make a man even just a word, provided that she is happy, and a man can make a woman happy, only by his actions. Please, you just humiliate yourself. No, I don't humiliate myself. I know my price. Look... It is not about money. You wanted a new winter coat, and I have immediately offered you one. Though you know very well that I only have a summer jacket, and it's almost winter here. If you are really cold, why the price matters? I ask the money, and doesn't matter for what. While you know very well that I am poor, I live under a collapsed roof with broken glasses, unpaid bills, and without heating in the beginning of the winter. I am attracted to a successful person, not by the amount of money, but by the state of confidence. Wrong window, then. Well, that was a roller coaster. <laughs> Holy crap. So, this girl goes from being like, I really need $300 for my winter coat. From her ex-boyfriend, who's like, uh, that's funny, but like, that's not happening. And... <laughs> Somehow, she tries to make it seem bad that he wouldn't say that he would give her $300 if he had it when he's in a really bad situation. Then she gets mad that she could get offered a secondhand coat. And then it makes it sound like she's saying she asked for $300 and it doesn't matter for what she asked it for. Like, it doesn't matter what she wanted to spend it on that was really weird <laughs> so she just wanted to hit up this dude for 300 dollars for something else like what the heck i'm just saying you dodged a bullet by not being with her anymore anyway thank you all for watching and listening to this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and drop a like and let me know all your thoughts in the comments below about these interesting at choosing beggars real quick on the screen i would like to thank my patrons you should see my face palmers and my crazy k's <laughs> thank you all so much for supporting me in that way and thank you all here for watching and being a part of my videos and my channel i appreciate you all so much i'll talk to you in my next video bye